Hi guys and happy Sunday. On today's video, I'm going to shampoo my hair and then I'm going to go outside and add some moisturizer and some oil to my hair. But this is what my hair looks like before I shampoo it. This is nine weeks of no retwist, nine weeks of just woofy woofy and honey. I think I am loving it. My cousin and my people hate it. They say, girl, you just look like you're rough, but this is the look I was going for. Usually you get those kind of comments from pretty, pretty girls. As you can see, I am shampooing my hair. I use the Herbal Essence White Grapefruit and something, mimosa or something, but I'll have it in the description box just in case you would like to see it. I did shampoo my hair twice and I gave it a good rinse. You're gonna see that I am going to leave a lot of the shampooing process in this video, so I hope you don't mind. I know some people like to see people shampoo their hair and sometimes people keep the segments short. So I'm gonna keep it a little bit longer for you. But I want to talk to you guys real quick about how I keep my locks thick and strong. My method is not for the pretty pretty. If you're into the very neat, slick, I'm always looking fly method, you're not gonna get it from me because that is not me. Especially at this time of my life, I'm in the leave me alone era. Let me be, let me be free era. So my hair is naturally thick my hair is naturally long it grows long and my hair grows strong because i have a hair care regimen and i've been having a regimen since 2011 ever since i started my channel the key thing to keep your hair thick and strong is to do less i shampoo my hair one time after five or six weeks after after the first retwist then after that i shampoo it every two weeks until i do decide to retwist my hair i do spray a protein treatment in my hair i don't do hairstyles I don't do a lot of pulling on my hair because you can see that I have no edges because I've had that experience of all that pulley pulley. My edges are trying to grow back now after having some tight tree braids in my hair. I keep my hair oiled. I moisturize my hair like maybe, well, actually like I do when I was a loose natural. I do it when I, when I feel like my hair is dry or when I think about it. So for the most part, I moisturize my hair about once a week or once every two weeks or depending on how i feel i might do it every two or three days i don't retwist my hair often like i mentioned and i don't shampoo often i don't do anything often i do sleep in a bonnet at night time but i think eventually i may move to a silk pillowcase because i don't like how heavy my hair is feeling in that bonnet i mainly do hardly nothing i don't use gel i retwist with water and oil only and i don't have a lot of people in my head so my method of keeping my hair thick and strong is somewhat well it's a lot a lot like how I was when I was a loose natural I didn't have a lot of people in my head I didn't use a lot of products I do use hair grease my hair grease of choice for my locks or um, is the um, black dax because it doesn't feel like it's weighing my hair down like lanolin type of hair grease such as blue magic I miss my blue magic um, I don't condition my hair only conditioner I use is leave-in conditioners and you'll see how I moisturize and seal my hair after this segment of the hey video. Hey guys, so I am out the shower. I've been out the shower for about maybe around 30 minutes. And right now it's 96 degrees and it is 425 p.m. on my cell phone. And I, um, I wanna see how long it takes for my hair to dry out here in this high heat. So I have all my products right here. So I'm going to start off with a leave-in conditioner by Talia Wajid. It is the Protective Mist Body Fire um, Paraben Free. It hydrates and moisturizes your hair. You can use this on loose natural hair too, if you want to. I usually spray it in my hand because it's easier for me to guide. And I think the wind just <laughs> blew the stuff on my face. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so the reason why I spray it in my hand first is because it's hard for me to hold the bottle once it gets wet from the leave-in conditioner. My hand be sliding and slipping and sliding and stuff. I am really starting to feel some weight in my hair, guys. Uh, <laughs> still feel something coming out of my face, but that's okay. If I can gain a grip of this bottle, I'll spray it in my hair. But yeah, I'm starting to feel some weight in my hair. When I wear my, um, it is so pretty out here today. It's windy, so if you hear some wind, that's because it's windy. But yeah, um, when I wear my satin bonnet at nighttime, that satin bonnet be sliding off my head and it gets trapped up under my, I don't like this. You know what, just take the whole damn thing off. How about that? 
and it and my bonnet gets trapped up in my when I try to turn around and flip in the bed and stuff. It's not fun. I'm like, oh boy, here we go with this long hair. So long hair is cool. It can be annoying. What's that noise, boy? It can be annoying sometimes because your hair gets caught into everything. I don't know if you guys know it now, but back in September of 2022, this one young lady, was she in New Orleans? She was real tall. She was a basketball player. She had all these long braid extensions all the way down to her bum. She was working at the airport and her hair got caught in some type of uh, belt. I don't know if it was a luggage rack belt or I don't know, but it got caught in the belt and she couldn't get out of it. Nobody could save her and she ended up passing away from that freak accident because her hair was so long. If we think that long hair is cute, it is cute, but until you get trapped up into something. So even when my hair was loose uh, and it was flat iron, guys, my hair used to get caught in my seatbelt. I used to hate that. I used to always make adjustments just to, you know, make sure my head don't snap off. So this is my Napstar Rosewater Hydrating Mist. This is some juicy moisturizer. And this is to help um, moisturize my hair. And it needs some extra juice in it today because I did that uh, ACV rinse a few weeks ago. And ACV rinses are cool. They be drying your hair out, man. They dry your hair out. They dry your hair out real good. So this instantly brings back the shine in the juice hmm let me get those ends one more time because I don't really think I did a good job with the ends get those ends don't want those ends to be dry how often do I moisturize my hair when I think about it? <laughs> Just like I did when I was a loose natural. Really is when I need it. Uh-oh, it fell down. Nico, don't you steal my bottle. That boy would be stealing my bottle. My doggy. He steals. Hey, leave myself alone. That's him rebelling, making that sound. That means leave my stuff alone, little boy. Alrighty. So let me see something. I got my brush here so I can brush down these edges. This is some new hair growing back from traction alopecia. You're probably saying, Nezzy, why are you brushing your hair down? Why don't you brush it back? What it doesn't make, it is a full fro. I'm so proud of my hair, but guys, when I tell you I be hating this hair, I love it and hate it at the same time. I love that it is growing in, but I hate <laughs> that it just won't be back there with the rest of my locks. That's what happens when you wear, wear tight braids and stuff. You got all the tension on your scalp. You're gonna be bald headed. So this, my hair was bald headed at one point. Uh oh, who this is coming? Guys, I'm getting some new neighbors. Can you see a truck pulling in? Nico checking them out. Somebody was telling me I'm going to have some some different people over here. Like some aliens. Like, I hope they ain't got no damn chickens. Who the aliens they ain't got no chickens? Who that boy? <laughs> That's so stupid. Why would, why would aliens move next door to me? And why would the aliens be aliens and have chickens? Like, what the hell? Anyway, my cocada. Scalp relief, uh, dry scalp relief oil, coconut and tar oil. One of my uh, followers or viewers was telling me that this irritates her scalp. You know, sometimes some things just don't work for you for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Put my lid back on here. 
And if you realize your scalp is not liking something, and although it's trendy or whatever, don't use it. Ooh, that's just, ooh. You know what? I like when I have scalp relief stuff in my hair. It makes my scalp feel good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi! He's looking at me, I'm looking at him. He's looking at me, looking at him. Mm -hmm. So I'm just randomly putting, putting this oil on my scalp. And then I'm gonna separate my hair. My hair is almost dry now. This is a free this is how you have a free blow dryer, guys. Do your hair in the summertime on a hot day. And you can sit outside and let your hair dry for free. Let Mother Nature take care of your hair. That man probably thinking, what in the world is she doing? Minding my business, doing my hair. nosy neighbor so guys I haven't had a retwist in two months and now no nine weeks nine weeks so guys let me tell you I was gonna try to retwist my hair yesterday but uh, my fuse box blew up and I have well I do have power I'm just kind of scared to use it right now because I blew out the fuse box, and yes, I still have a fuse box in 2023. I have a fuse box and a circuit breaker box in 2023. Now, you know my house is old. You know what? I found out that brick homes are out of style. They're outdated. They're old-fashioned. Today's houses are not made of brick unless you spend a lot, a lot, a lot of money. Or they may have a brick face, but most houses are sidings now. And I've been seeing people painting their brick. I'm like, oh my God, don't you ever decide to paint my brick? You better wait till I'm dead or something. But that's the thing now. Let's paint the brick. You ain't paint my damn brick. But, you know, we like what we like. Fashion change, style changes. And you have to do what you like. Uh-oh, I got a, a webby. E. So right now I'm just separating my hair. It's so beautiful today. Today is Sunday. And... Oh, come on, what was that noise? And it's warm. I got my neighbor. Neighbor. So what you gonna do with your edges, Nizzy? What you gonna do with them? Come on up, just let them be free until something happens. But guys, look. Let me show you how long they are. Actually, these are not edges. Like I said before, this is the perimeter of my hair. And this has got snatched out by some, by some braids. But look how long it is. Ooh. And I got some more hair growing. Yep. Nice and clean, guys. All right, guys, so this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's nothing really spectacular. Just, uh oh, Nico finished store clowning because he see a boy. He see a dog, I mean, a lady is. Uh oh, here we go. Hello! <laughs> oh, Nico is barking. Stop it, boy! 
Be nice, boy. Come here, boy. Come here. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Come here. Come here now. Stay. Sit. Guys, when I tell you this is a badass dog, this dog is bad. Destructive and bad. Manipulative, conniving, cunning, everything you can think of. He's two years old, so he's, hey, 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 hey. He is in that terrible two stage. He has behavior problems. And I don't like it. All right. My hair is almost dry. It is freaking almost dry, guys. There we go, look at it. Like I ain't said nothing. See what I'm saying? 438. So I guess my hair will be drying in about another 10 minutes or so. I said, come here. Get over here. <laughs> He's sitting down now. Nancy, don't holler at him. I'm going to holler at her. You know, you know black mamas be hollering. What you talking about? All mamas holler. Well, not all of them, but mama's going to holler. I'm going to holler. You like? You like? You like, 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 like. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you enjoy looking at my hair. Bye bye. Ooh.